What was the best piece of advice ever given to you? And uh, again, it'd be more in one personal professional. That's easy. Uh, it's the rides, stupid. And let, let me give you the background well, on this that. This might be a good time to talk the about the rides. Let me give you a background. It's funny. Uh, when I was learning the business, uh, the theme park industry is a very tight industry. Okay. Very tight industry. About 200 theme parks in North America. It's very tight. Everybody knows one another. Uh, but when I was first starting out in 1990 with the original Kentucky Kingdom, I traveled uh, to a lot of different parks to get advice. And at that time, the... the um, the managers of the Six Flags Park, this is before Six Flags was purchased by Premier Parks, which went on to buy Kentucky Kingdom. So this is the old school Six Flags managers. They were terrific. And uh, Del Holland, the manager out at Magic Mountain, when I went out there, spent like a half a day with me, which right. is really wonderful. Because yeah, we were cool. just a puddle in Louisville. It was 10 acres. We had six rides or something. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I really didn't understand the business. I was learning the business. And, and he sat me in his office, and I was asking a million questions, and he said, listen, let me reduce it to this. He said, Ed, it's the ride, stupid. Don't think about parades. Don't think about this. Don't think about that. It's the rides, and it's particularly the roller coasters. Mm. Best advice I ever got. It's the roller coasters. If Elvis came back and performed next to one of our big roller coasters, the cue would be for the roller coaster, not for Elvis, wow. in the theme park. Right. So it's the ride. So I always remember that. And building up our, our attendance was always built on adding very, very significant record-breaking ride.